what can we do Nini we need to take an action because of this word because you prophesied for us to extend the tent so who will come to help us to extend the tent Nani ataweza kukuja kutusaidia kuweza kupanua kanisa? Then we said, na tukaweza kusema, the God who used you, Mungu ambaye aliweza kuweza kututabiria sisi, is still with us here. Hako pamoja na sisi. No matter how long it will take. Hata kama itachukua muda gani, we know our God. Tunajua Mungu wetu is over good plans and to us. Hako na mipango mizuri kwetu. And we started. Na tukaweza kuanza. Our own contribution. Tukaanza michango yetu sisi wenyewe. Little by little kidogo baada ya kidogo every man kila mwezi little by little kidogo baada ya kidogo and we know, i don't know why today you, you chose this day na si siwezi kujua kwa nini uliweza kuchukua because God day. wanted you to come and witness kwa sababu Mungu alitaka uweze kukuja ushuhudi what you had promised ile ambacho ulikuwa umetabiri that it is going on to become fulfilled na kinaendelea na kitakuja kuweza kitakuja kutimia so we are on the journey of the fulfillment of the promise tuko kwa hiyo safari ya kuweza ku, ku kunini kuweza ku we are on the journey of the fulfillment of the promise tuko kwa hiyo safari ya kuweza kutimiza ule utabiri wako praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe and today you have come to witness na siki walio wamekuja kushuhudia and that's why the leader your pastor Dennis was saying na kwa sababu mchungaji wetu pastor Dennis you don't know why you chose this day ni kwa nini uliweza kuwa happy to see if the prophetic uh, uh, the seed of the prophets the seed of prophetic word is germinating ulikuja kuweza kushuhudia kama zile mbegu za utabiri zinazidi kukua haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe so today the prophetic word is being fulfilled in your eyes leo siku leo leo siku hii utabiri wako unakuwa unatimizwa siku ya leo in jesus name katika jina la yesu kristo we believe Tunaamini and now we are seeing it. Na sasa tunaona. We have contributed around uh, how much? Huh? 150,000. Tumeweza kuchangisha pesa laki laki 150,000. We need Kenyan money 4 million. Tunahitaji pesa za Kenya milioni 4. We have our own plot like we are outside here. Tuweze kukuwa na shamba letu kama lile liko pale. And we have started. Na tumeanza. So when you go wakati ambao tunaendelea now releasing more uh, prophetic words to us as endelea kuachilia baraka na utabiri juu yetu so that the fire will be ignited every on and on moto usiji kuwata kila wakati until one day you will come to witness the title deed hadi siku moja utakuja kushuhudia kile kitu send to my sister Send to my sister. Naye pia kwa dada yetu. When you go back to US. Wakati ambapo unaelekea kule Marekani. Remember. Kumbuka the prophetic word. Kumbuka utabiri. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that you continue watering on it. Ili uzidi kuweza kunyunyizia maji. That one day. Ili siku moja. You will come also in witness. Utakuja na utaweza kushuhudia. A, a small church kanisa lililokuwa ndogo that God has extended ambalo Mungu atakuwa amepata a cathedral or a temple I just want you to stand on your feet nataka muweze kusimama kwa miguu yenu I want to usher in nataka kuweza kukaribisha my mentor mentor wangu my brother kaka yangu the one who showed me yule ambaye amenionyesha the one in our area katika kijiji zetu when we grew up wakati ambapo tulipopata following christ anamfuata yesu and we were looking at him na tulikuwa tunamtazama we never saw christ hatukuweza we never know we, we never saw changes hatukuweza kuona mabadiliko he was wearing the same suit alikuwa anafanyia suit yake every now and then but now we can see the fruit of the
Along with your wife. Please, can I see your children, please, if they are here, stand up wherever you are. Or to our post. post. Yeah, yeah. God bless you so much. For the great work of the Lord that you are doing here. I know God brought you all the way from Kitale to this place. You are prisoners. Praise the Lord. I know you will not remain there. Next time, according to the prophecy, you will be pastoring a church of over 5,000. What is four million to God? Million in the Nini Komongo. Simuta Seme and Nappy. Million in a Pekan. Praise the Lord. Amen. God can open the doors. I always go by the prophecy of our prophetess. We speak the word by faith. We can prophesy that uh, God can open the doors of heaven and, pr and bring a lot of money. We live by faith but not by sight. If you live by faith, everything is, is possible. There is somebody somewhere who said, Faith is what will change our impossibilities to God's possibility. Praise the Lord. So allow me for this chancha. Uh, we have also one hour. It is almost uh, 12 noon. Uh, 6 minutes to 12 noon. Allow us to continue with the series from uh, Prophetess. Put up our hands together. And Prophetess has been for us some few copies here of Bible. So Apostle will see whom to give. Apostle wetu kutona yule ambaye utaweza so to have a bible aweze kuona biblia this is a king james version this is a good bible ni biblia nzuri sana you better you have one ni heri uwe na moja can you see that unaweza kuketi amen amen praise the lord amen praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord unakumbuka ujumbe Amen. Use what God gave you. Yes. Yes. The last scripture that I gave you was 2 Corinthians, 2 chapter, verse 11. The reason, the reason Paul was telling them that. Sababu kwamba Paulo is we have to understand the devil's purpose and God's purpose. John 10.10 10. But the thief comes to steal kill and destroy. You may think he come to physically kill you. Unaweza fikiria kwamba shetani anaweza kuja tu akuue tu kimwili ama ukufe kimwili. But you have no benefit to him there. Lakini wewe hautakuwa na faida yoyote kama umekufa. The devil wants to keep you living. Shetani anataka kuweke kama bado unaishi. Wounded. Unaishi lakini umejeruhiwa. Discouraged. Umeshushika moyo. 
discontent. Na umekaa katika hali ya kutotosheka. Because if he can keep you those things. Kwa sababu kama anaweza kukupea hizo vitu. Hurting people hurt other people. Ah, uh, mioyo iliyobondeka ina, ina, inaweza kudhuru mioyo zingine ambazo hazijapondeka. Kwamba kila mbegu huzaa mbegu ya namna yake. So if he can keep you wounded, kama shetani atakuweka uishi kama umejeruhiwa. Na wewe pia utakuwa unajeruhi watu wengine. If he can keep you discouraged, kama shetani anaweza kukufanya ukae umeshushika moyo. You would discourage other people. Hata na wewe utashusha watu wengine moyo. And for sure if you're discontented, wapendwa na hata usipokuwa mtu wa kutosheka. You would cause others to be utasababisha watu wengine waishi maisha ya kutotosheka. That's why he says let let Satan should get an advantage of us. Na ndio maana neno la Mungu nasema kwamba na shetani asipate nafasi yoyote ndani ya maisha yetu. The devil can't pull us out of the father's hand. Ah shetani hawezi kutotoa mikononi mwa Bwana. But if we are wounded. Lakini kama tumejeruhiwa. And we don't recognize that God is still God. Na kama tukifikia kiwango cha kutotambua Mungu kwamba Mungu ni Mungu. We step out of God's hand. Tutakuwa tunatoka mikononi mwa Bwana. When God said use what he gave you. Na wakati Mungu anasema tumia kile ambacho amekupatia. Timothy says. But God is not giving you a spirit of fear. Timothy mm. anasema kwamba Bwana Mungu sisi hakutupatia roho wa uongo. A lot of the things we do is because of fear. Vitu vingine tunafanya kwa sababu ya uongo. They are losing what you have. Uh, uoga ufanya mtu akapoteza kila mtu. What people think about you. Unafuhofia yale mtu anasema uoga unafanya usifike mahali unatakana kwenda the most important person sehemu ama mtu wa maana sana and spirit and katika ulimwengu wa roho thoughts about you is god mtu wa maana wa wewe kufikiria kwa moyo wako sana fikiria juu ya Yesu Kristo the holy spirit in you roho mtakatifu aliye ndani mwako and the word of god na neno la Mungu ambalo walisikia na itatoa ushuhuda neno ambalo umelisikia itatoa ushuhuda siku yako ya kiyama ikifika unajua mbele ya kiti cha hukumu cha kiyama Mungu hatasikia watu wanaokuongea wewe vibaya atasikiza ushuhuda utokao kwa rohoni mwako Grieve not the Holy Spirit. Bwana sema kwamba na tusimhuzunishe roho wa Bwana. Na kumbuka ile katika Efeso. So grieve not the Holy Spirit. Kwamba tusimhuzunishe na roho mtakatifu. Which was left to, with you to the day of redemption. Ambayo tumeachwa na roho mpaka siku ya ukombozi ama siku ya kiyama itakapofika. When we do the opposite of the plan that God has for us. Wakati tunaenda kinyume cha mipango ya Mungu alio alio nazo alizo nazo kwetu. I'm talking about sin but I'm not talking about sin. Na mimi nafikiria kwamba dhambi, siongee juu ya dhambi. When he gives you a mission. Wakati Mungu amekupatia huduma. And you don't fulfill that mission. Na wewe hutimiza huo hiyo huduma. You grieve the Holy Spirit. Utakuwa unamhuzunisha roho mtakatifu. When you don't trust what God told you. Ukama huamini kile Mungu alikufundisha. You grieve the Holy Spirit. Unamhuzunisha roho mtakatifu. He will test yeye atatoa ushuhuda kwa ajili yako. Because where you go, mahali penye wewe utaenda. What you do, kile unafanya. What you say, kile unaongea. Is right there with you. Roho mtakatifu anaenda na wewe kila mahali utende hapo. Be agreed. Kuweza kuhuzunishwa. Because we're not doing what God has instructed. Ah, uh, huku roho anahuzunika wakati mtu anafanya jambo ambalo hajaagizwa na Mungu. Jesus told the father of the lunatic boy Ah uh, Yesu akamwambia baba wa yule mtoto aliyokuwa na ugonjwa wa kifafa All things are possible to him that yeah, kwamba mambo yote yanawezekana kwa hao waaminiwa Amen When the youth were up here dancing Wakati vijana walipokuwa hapa wakipiga dance yao They're very talented Ah uh, ni vijana ambao wamejitoa na wana kipawa Many souls nafsi nyingi of young people ya vijana wengi can be brought in Alleluia. inaweza kuletwa hapa kanisani kupitia kwa vijana hawa wamecheza hapa Amen Apostle Mtume 
You know the reason young people get bored coming to church. Unajua kwa nini vijana wengi ambao wa umri huu wa kubalehe hawaachi kanisani? Because you don't give them anything to do. Kwa sababu hakuna kitu wakifika kanisani hawanaona hakuna mambo yao hapo. But when you give them things. Lakini ukiwapatia vitu ya kulipuka kama yeye wanalipuka hizo. Wakipata mambo kama haya. Wata wengine watataka kuja. Wata uchochewa kuja hapa. What do you do on Saturday afternoon? Nini mnafanya Jumamosi jioni? Wanakuja kupiga denzi yao hizi. There is a praise and worship. What do the young men do? Ah, vijana mnafanya nini? Next time. Wakati mwingine. Wacha ima maneno wasifiche ndani ya nyumba wafanyie hapo kwa barabara. Ndio watu wengine waone. wakati petero ama andu walikuwa naongea na nadhia na kasema kwamba kitu kizuri cha laza kutoka pale nazareti He said come and see. Ah muone mambo mazuri ambayo yatoka nazareti. If you will take the church out there. Kama utatoa kanisa lisimame hapo nje. The walls will move. Ah watu wa wa dunia watasongea. Take the church out. Ah mimi mama kanisa litaenda nje na mkuta utasonga. There are young people who will be here. Kuna wavijana wengine wako hapo nje ambao wangekuwa hapa leo. Ah kuweza kuweza kulilinda kanisa. Wapenda kuna sheria ambayo inazuia sisi kucheza mchezo kama yuko nje. Hivi pawa kali kali kama hii na mnaimu mbona mnaificha hapa ndani? Watu wa vijana wakimbia mbele hapa vijana wale wapenda vijana ambao wamesimama hapa mume marafiki zenu wangapi mwaambia jia hii kikundi dad amen wapi manu and where did they say jacket boy let me tell you what they say the Jesus took it to them. Mm. 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 Jesus didn't stay in the synagogue. Oh, yes. He took it to them. Oh, 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 the oh, 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 and oh, 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 Mungu yu tayari kufanya kitu. Mungu yu tayari kufanya kitu. Wapenda unajua Daudi siku ngine akiwa amesimama mbele ya ya Sauli akacheza mpaka roho mchafu mapepo ya kutoka Sauli. Lakini Daudi hakutoa hakukemea mapepo ndani ya Sauli lakini alicheza tu mapepo yenyewe ikaamua kutoka. Cheza kabisa. Chezeni kabisa. Chezeni kabisa. Chezeni kabisa mpaka masauli wenye wako karibu mapepo iwatoke. Kila mmoja. Mjaribu kabisa mlete watatu. Kila mmoja, kila mtu. Leta watatu. Leta wengi. Wao wengi kata wa nafasi ikose hapa. Na pesa zitakuja. Amina. When the youth are happy to come to church. Wakati vijana kule nje wamefurahia kuja kanisani. That's when the church will grow. Hapo ndipo kanisa linapokuwa. Amen. 
Because old people are too tired to get up and move. Kwa sababu watu wengine wani wazito sana hata kuruka hivi anaweza kusoma. Sasa tunaachia vijana hao walipuke. Wengine ambao kuna wengine wanasengeja vijana ndio wanaroka lakini wao kijaribu wao wanaoma. Alright. They got energy. Wana nguvu hawa. This is today's generation. Hii ni kizazi cha leo sio cha kesho. It's time for the leaders to pass on the mantle. Wapendwa imefikia wazamu ya viongozi kupatiana kipao ambacho Mungu ya hao. Now I'm not saying allow the young people to come in and and act ungodly. That's not what I'm talking about. Sisemi kwamba mruhusu vijana wao kwa nje huko wakuje nje walete mambo ya nje hapa ndani hapa. If you pray, kama mnaomba and lay hands on them. Na muweke mikono hao. Watajazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Watakuwa na upako ambao umekuwa juu yao. They will be able to do godly things and bring people. Watakuwa wakifanya mambo ya kiungu na wataleta wengi kwa Yesu. The word and the Holy Spirit is what makes the difference. neno la Mungu na Roho Mtakatifu ndio vileleta utofauti. Use what you have. Tumia kile ambacho uko nacho. There are at least five if not six older women in here that can do prophetic dance. Yes. Ah yes. uh, kuna watano ama sita hivi wa mama ambao mko hapa ambao wanaweza kumchezea Mungu kwa njia ya kinabii. Yeah. Yeah. You have to understand. <laughs> Kama ni wewe una unajijua unaweza sema. That is a certain way. Amen. Kuna njia tofauti ambayo ni ya kuabudu katika ulimwengu wa roho kuinulia Mungu mikono juu na kumuinamia na kubadilisha hali ya mazingana ndani ya nyumba ya Mungu. Tumia kile Mungu amekupatia. Some of you already know that's what God has been leading you to do but you've been holding back. Kuna wengine Mungu amewapa ibada nzuri ndani mwao na hakini hawaitumii wanaificha ficha You all don't mind standing up do you? Well, just keep standing. Y'all 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 can help. Stand up. Just keep standing. Nasema vijana ninyi mtasimama simama hapa kitu. The feet. Mibu. Do you know what that does? Unajua hiyo inafanya nini? That shakes up the atmosphere. That is the unaomba inabonga chini na mna hiyo inafukuza mapepo zingine maana biblia inasema tutaweka mapepo yote yatakaa chini ya miguu yetu some of you have been led to do it but you didn't realize that was god leading you know you wengine mmekuwa mkiomba hapa na kukanyaga chini hamjui ya kwamba ni mungu anawaelekeza mfanye hiyo mnakanyaga vitu vingine vitakufia hapo chini hallelujah amen clapping up the hands kupiga mikono zetu makofi na kuabudu katika ile hali ya kutembeza mikono kwa hewa. That's God. Hiyo ni ibada ya Mungu. If you read the Old Testament, ukisoma agano la kale, mtume, they did the we, the way the he. Watu waliinua mikono zao wakiabudu na kunena kwa ndimi tofauti tofauti. He told them to do it. Aliwaambia Mungu mwenyewe wafanye hivi. Tumia hao. Those five will come to you. Wale watano watakuja kwa. And there's three more that's not sure. Kuna wamama wengine watano watakuja kwa na watatu wengine ambao hawana hauhakika. So use them too. Hiyo wa mama watumie kwa ibada ya kanisa. Because when they do more things. Kwa sababu akifanya hivyo the walls will move. Ukuta si ukuta huu ukuta wa makiroho utasoma. Use what God has given. Tumia chenye Mungu amekupatia. He is a worshiper. Yeye ni mwabudu huyo. There's an anointing in the past years of his voice. Use what he gave. Tumia chenye Mungu amekupatia. Tumia chenye Mungu amekupatia. Melody. Nyimbo. Changes me. Zinabadilisha hali ya mazingani. Ibada ya kumchezea inabadilisha mazingani. It's not about the beauty of it is the anointing. Oh yes. Si uzuri kuna uzuri, sio kurembesha nyimbo lakini ni upako ambao unahitajika ndani ya hizo nyimbo. Ukisikiza hizo nyimbo katika ulimwengu wa rohoni, 
you will know which one of your praisers oh, and singers oh, oh. and dancers have the anointed time Choose them because of the anointing, not because you know me. Ah, upako Tell three. Tell three. Tell three. Tell three. Right now, she's thinking of the three that she knows she can tell, and she thought of three. I saw it in her eyes. She said, "Okay, I got her." Uh -huh. And you, you know three. Tell three. And not three of these. Tell three. 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 Tell you feel that weight? I weigh, I weigh, I weigh a lot. I weigh a lot more than you. You feel the weight? You feel the weight of me? <laughs> we put weights on people. <laughs> Tell them three. 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 The Pharisees, the lawyers, and they put weights on people that they couldn't even carry. If you teach them the word, you can teach them the word. You can teach them the word. You teach them the word. You can teach them the word. You can teach them that will change the things in them God wants to change. Amen. You cannot take the scales off of a fish before you catch it. Yes. Uh, uh, some, some of you have some, some of you have the hook in the water and you try to straighten the scale out. You can't do that. You can't do that. Catch the fish first. Yes. <laughs> then you get the scales <laughs> off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me admit. Teach him the word. Yes. Pray. 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 You know what? You know what the problem is, Apostle? Just... We forget how we felt when we were young. We forget that boys are full of chromosomes and desires and girls are don't condemn them for feeling what's natural. But teach them how to as much energy only does it give things for them, but it gives something for your ministers to do so you don't keep them bored sending. Ah, kama hayo, si kuwapatia tu hawa tu, lakini pei na umuki wafundisha hivi itawasaidia kuweza kufanya huduma hii, isikaye tu kama imeboe ka. Amen. You know what I found to be the problem though, Apostle? Wajua nilikundua shida mwenda. That many leaders are not even giving me to the grown-ups. If you're not giving them enough of the word, you're not even feeding the grown-ups. If you're not giving them enough of the word, you're not even feeding the do you know the difference between meat and bones? 
When you eat, when you eat fish, which part do you eat, the meat or the bones? What happens if you try to eat the bones? They know a lot. They don't know that. I'm not talking about regular meat either. I'm talking about the regular meat. Onaona hii nyama tunaongelea hii nyama tu ya samaki ni nyama tu ya kiroho na mafupa ya kiroho. Do you know when someone tells you the truth when they're when they're minister, do you know the truth from a lie? Give me a spirit, give me a spiritual truth you've heard. Uh, okay. And what is a non-spiritual truth? What is a non-truth you've heard? Yeah. Ukweli <laughs> ambao uongo ambao umeshawahi you can't buy blessings, that's for sure. Or he's for it. I'm thinking that's what he was talking about. They're promising you something when you give them money. Faith is what moves God. Faith is what moves God. Not age, not position, not title. Faith. Imani ndiyo inasongesha mtu mbele sio miaka umri ama kiwango cha uongozi. If you all can have faith. Kama nyote tunaweza kuwa na imani. God will do it for you just like he did for me. Mm. That business that you want to do, God can do it for you if you wish. I know you want to do a video. Wangapi mnata hivi jana sikutaka kurusha video moja hii uirushe kwa mtandao hivi. Yeah. 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 Why do you want to do a video? Hamtaki kuimba muonekane mitandao. Because we want to inspire people out there so that they can they can know it's not only going to church but you can also dance to the Lord and get blessed. Well, how many times have you all went out and practice and dance like that? Reaching people with a video is fine. Fikia watu kwa njia ya filamu ni nzuri. Lakini kuna watu wengine. Kuna watu wengine wakaribu na wenye kuwaona, kuwaguza na wenye kuna pia wenye kuendea. But out there, I didn't touch those three, so let me let me tell you. Which three do you think? Let's see. Kwa kuwaguza na kuwaombea tu. Okay, mwingine huyu ametoka hivi sasa hivi. That's another problem that we as a people have. Is it a user what God gave? Some more? Yes. Is there any more? Any more? Is that all of us? When God said to use what God gave you, I don't know what God wanted to say to people till I start talking. Start. Sijui chenye mungu anataka ni ambiwa tumpaka wakati ambapo inaanza kuhudi. Let me tell you what the devil does sometimes. Chenye mbele chenye shetani ufanya mara jingi. He'll put a thought in your head. Hataweka wazo kwa kiki. That's difficult to attain. So he can discourage you. He akuweza kusisha. He will put a thought of things you want to do. The devil in your head. That's hard for you to do. Because you're not thinking about what you want to do. 
ambaye ni mgumu kwa kufanya ili akusushe moyo You want to do a video? You don't have all the things to do the video. Yeah. So it makes you discouraged. Okay, kwa maana mwingine anasema hivi. Unataka kufanya video lakini vitu ambavyo vina vifaa ambavyo vinahitajika havipo. Wakati mwingine mkifikiria pia hizo vifaa sana unakuta kwamba mnasushika moyo kidogo kwa nini hatujapata hizi vitu tufanye mambo haya inawazusha moyo wakati mwingine. Every opportunity you get. Kila fursa ambayo unapata. Do it out there. Let me tell you what. Do things the wrong way. The Bible says your gift will make room for you. You are trying to make room for your gift. Yes. 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 vipao ambavyo mko navyo. You want to do a video because everybody else doing it. Unataka kufanya video kwa sababu kila mtu anafanya. Go out there and win souls. He that win souls is wise. Kwenda pale nje na kuvuna mioyo. Ndeni mvune mioyo. If you win the souls. Ukienda pale nje mchezo pale nje na kuvuna. The video will come. Video itatokea. You quit trying to make room for your gift. Let your gift make room. Musitafutie vipawa mlivyo navyo nafasi waacha vipawa vya yenyewe vya watafutie mimi. So, do they have rehearsed every week? Every other week half we have rehearsed. Unafanya mazoezi kila juma. Yes. Kila juma. Every Saturday. Try having it out there. Kwa hivyo mnafanya hapa ndani mpaka tunatoka nje. Did you know that you can hear music in here without a problem? Did you know that? Did you know? That? You did. I can hear music right now in my head mm -hmm. and dance to the music I hear in my head. Yes. I don't have to have the music playing. I can hear it in here. Yes. 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 Dance to the music yes. Yes. here yes. out there. Oh, yes. You don't have to have music. Yes. Do it out there. Let them find you. Amen. Amen. You are the one. Ah, okay. John 15 Henceforth I call you not servants Sasa na waita ninyi sio fanyikazi For the servant knoweth not what his Lord do Kwa sababu mchakazi hajui kile ambacho Bwana wake yafanya Lakini na waiteni ninyi marafiki For all things that I have heard of my father sababu mambo yote ambayo nimesikia kutoka kwa baba I have made known unto you Nimeyafanya yakaweze kujulikana kwenu Yeah you have not chosen me Ninyi hamkunichagua mimi But I have chosen you Lakini mimi niwachagua ninyi And ordained you Na kuweza kuwaifanya That you should go and bring forth fruit Nanyi muende nje na mkazae matunda That's verse 16 And that your fruit should remain. Nani matunda yenu yataweza kusalia. Your fruit should remain. Matunda yenu lazima yasalie. Wakati tunamtendea Mungu kazi. And that your fruit should remain. Nani matunda yenu yatasalia. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father. Ya kwamba ninyi chochote mtakachoomba kutoka kwa Baba. In my name. Katika jina la Mungu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. He may give it. Nani mtapewa. If we do it to win souls kama tunafanya hivyo kuvuna mioyo he will give it to you atakupatia wewe sometimes people want to do things for themselves kuna watu ambao wakati mwingine wanataka kujifanyia mambo kibinafsi so that people see them ili kwamba wajulikane watu wawasikie people want to see them watu wawaone that's not the purpose of the church hiyo sio makusudio ya kanisa is to win the souls of the devil na kufanya kazi ya kushinda shetani na kumwelekeza kusisi na aingie katika ziwa si kwamba tu tujifanyie makanisa makubwa makubwa tu makusudio ya majengo makubwa makubwa ni kuhifadhi waamini wengi ndio tukiwa na majengo makubwa makubwa kama hayo ya tupate watu wengi na ndio tuende nje kwa kama kikundi kimoja tuwalete wengi kwa Yesu. Amen. Yes. Kama unataka kitu kutoka kwa Bwana. 
Ah, wewe penda chenye Mungu. Na God so love. Nasema, kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. Kwamba akamtoa nayo. Not take. Si kuchukua. That he gave. Kwamba alipea, alitoa. Your dance is a way to Yeah. Mm. Praise team. Amen. Your singing is a way to give. Yeah. Worshipper, your worship is a way to give. Preachers and teachers, your gift is a way to give. Walimu na wahubiri vipawa vyenu ni vya kutoa. Si kuchukua. Yeah. Kutoa. Lust is what takes. Ah. Uh, L U S T. L U S T. Tama. Ndio kuchukua. Ndio ya kuchukua. Lust is all about getting the self. Tama ni kitu ni, ni kitu ya kutaka. Kuchukua. Love is about giving. <laughs> Upendo ni kutoa. Lust benefits me. Ah. Uh, kutamani inajifa inachitakia love benefits you lakini pendo lina pia na kwa mimi i hope you understand na tumaya kwamba unaelewa god is love mungu ni upendo everything he did was to give to us kila kitu chochote mungu alifanya ni kwa ajili ya kutoa kwa ajili yetu so a couple of you in the dance team and in the praise team Wewe wengi wengi get it straight. Wewe kwa kikundi cha sifa na ibada kwa nyinyi mnaoichezea Mungu atendi mambo haya kwa njia sawia. He didn't give you the gift for yourself. He gave you the gift for us. Alikuwa kwa sio kwa kujiwekea binafsi bali cha kutoa kwa watu wengine. That's right. Amen. John 16:23 and 24. Yohana 16 mstari wa 23 na 24. And I don't have a few more scriptures and then I'll be finished. Na nitakuwa na mistari mingine michache hivi nitakuwa na malizia. Now but not run over the time. Natumai kwamba sitapita muda. And in that day, siku hiyo. What day? Siku gani? The day that you need. Siku ambayo namhitaji Mungu. Because he said and in that day. Maana Biblia inasema itakuwa siku hiyo. Everybody has that day. Kila mtu ana siku hiyo. When you really need him. Uko siku ambayo unamhitaji yeye. You shall ask me not. Nanyi hamtaniomba lolote. We ask through Jesus. Tunaomba mambo yote kupitia ndani ya Yesu. Tukienda kwa Baba. Because the three of them are one. Kwa sababu wale watatu ni mmoja. First John. Baraka wa kwanza wa Yohana. There are three the bear record in heaven. Ya kwamba kuna watatu wa shuhudi yao mbinguni. The Father, Mungu Baba, the Word Mneno and the Holy Ghost. Na roho mtakatifu. I don't remember if it's John 3 or John 5 is is in first John. Iko katika waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana. It's five. Thank you. Waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana 5. First John 5th chapter verse 7. Waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana mlango wa 5 kifungu cha 7. The Father the Word and the Holy Ghost. Kwamba watatu wa shuhudi yao wa mbinguni Mungu Baba, Neno na Roho Mtakatifu. He said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. Isaiah kwamba Mungu Baba, He became the son so he could die for our sins. Uh, wakati huo Yesu alikuwa anaitwa Neno. Lakini alinda kwanza hiyo. Lakini Neno alifanyika hivyo. Aliitwa Yesu wakati alikuja kukomboa mwanadamu. Lakini mbele yake alikuwa anaitwa Neno. Alikuwa neno kabla hajafanyika mwana. Ulikuwa mwenye dhambi kabla ya kuokoka wewe. Lakini sasa sisi ni viumbe vingi. Glory. Amina. Here the two which is me before now. Have ye asked nothing in my name? Amba ninyi sasa hamuna kusikia sasa kupitia kwa jina langu. Omba. He said ask. Nasema ask. omba. Omba. And ye shall receive. Ombeni nanyi mtapata. That your joy may be full. Ili nafraha kutimilika. Anything he promises in his word that applies to us 
kila kitu chochote ambacho ali atuahidi tukiomba kupitia kwa neno lake ama kwa mapenzi yake tutapata that's why you need to know his word then you know what things you can ask him for and you will receive ndio maana unahitajika kujua neno lake na ndio maana ukiomba unajua zile ahadi ambazo amekuahidia unapoomba kulingana na neno lake utazipata if you ask for faith kama ukiomba kwa imani You want to know what the answer is? Utaya, unataka kujua vile majibu yapo. Romans 10:17. Yoharumi 10:17. Now then faith comes by hearing. Bila sema kwamba sasa imani huja kwa kusikia. And hearing, hearing na, by the word of God. Na kwa kusikia neno la Mungu. I mean is that a word? Iko katika neno. So what it is we need to know what is word says so we know what to ask. Hivyo basi tunahitajika kujua vile neno linasema ndio tujue namna ya kuomba. Kama unahitaji hekima James first chapter I believe verse 5. Ah Yohana ayo Yakobo 1:5. If any man lack wisdom let him ask of God who gives liberally. Ya kwamba mtu yeyote atakaye hekima waache na aombe kwa Mungu ambaye hupeana pasipo upendelee. And afraid not. Amen. Ah hapendelei. He says in faith Anasema ombeni kwa imani. Sio kwa kusita sita. Kwa sababu mtu wa nia mbili anapoomba hapokei jambo lolote. Verse 6 and 7. Sawa If you need finances. Kama unahitaji fedha. The word says. Neno la Mungu linasema. Philippians 4 chapter verse 19. Wa Filipi 4:19. But my God will supply all my needs. Kwa sababu Mungu wangu atapeana mahitaji yangu yote. Because of his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Kupitia katika utukufu ulio ndani ya Kristo Yesu. If somebody is persecuting you. Kama kuna mtu anakutoa dhuluma kwako. You hungry? Ama wewe unajaa. In distress? Ama umevunjika moyo. Romans 8 chapter Warumi mlango wa 8. I believe it's somewhere 37 or something. Amini mstari wa 37. Then all these things you're more than a conqueror. Bila sema kwamba zaidi warumi 8 mstari wa 37. Lakini kati ya haya mambo yote ninyi ni zaidi ya washindi. We you as in his name. Wakati unaomba kwa jina lake. He is the word. Yeye ni neno. So when you ask according to the word. Sasa ukiomba kulingana na neno. He honors his word. Yeye analiheshimu neno lake. The problem is we don't always pray according to the Shida word. yenye tuko nayo hatuombi kulingana na neno. He has to honor his word. Mungu mwenyewe analiheshimu neno lake. The Bible says God is not like man that he shall lie. Kwamba Mungu si kama mwanadamu hata aseme uongo. Or the son of man that he should repent. Ama mwana wa mwanadamu aseme uongo. When I need Ama atubu. When I need something. Wakati nahitaji kitu. I say. Ninasema hivi. God you said in your word. Ninapoomba ninasema Mungu ulisema katika neno lako. Then I believe in his word. Na ninasema vile neno linasema. And if not in his word, he's not obligated to do. Hivyo Mungu akiangalia hivi maombi yangu na aone siombi kulingana na neno lake, basi hana jambo lingine la kufanya kwa maombi yangu. But he made promises. Lakini kuna ahadi nyingi ambazo amezitoa. John 10:10, the last part. Ah. John 10 chapter verse 10. Yohana 10:10, mstari wa mwisho pale pale. But I have came that you might have life. Yesu mwenyewe anasema nimekuja ili nanyi muwe na uzima. That you might have it more abundantly. You're not going to need Ugali in heaven. Uko mbinguni. Uko mbinguni. Atuta kuwa na mambo ya Ugali. You're not even going to need these clothes. You got home in heaven. Uko mbinguni mbabazi. Atuta itaja. But that you get this. You're not getting the whole show. Flesh and blood cannot inherit or enter into the kingdom. Damu na nyama havita ubibi ufalme wa mbinguni. So you need abundant life right here. Unahitaji uzima wa milele ama uzima teletele tukae nao hapa kwanza. When you need something remind God of his word. Wakati tunahitaji kitu mkumbushe Mungu kwa neno lake. It's not that he forgot his word upon. Mungu hasi kwamba amesahau neno lake ya mtume. Is that he wants to know do you remember his word? Anataka wewe ajue kwamba wewe kila wakati unakumbuka neno lake. So when you say Lord you say 
Kwa sababu hii ukiomba unaposema Mungu wewe ulisema. You not going to be able to say that unless you know what he said. Hauwezi kusema tu Mungu alisema na hujui chenye alisema. Lazima useme Mungu anajua chenye yeye wewe unajua alisema. First Peter 5 chapter verse 8. Wow. That's powerful. Wow. Well, okay. Well, I better go back to verse 6. Huh? Wanaka wa kwanza wa Petero mlango wa tano kifungu cha kwanza. Ilikuwa ni anzie tisa lakini. Jaribu kuwa mtifu kwa Bwana. The elders which are among you are exhort. Wazee walio kati yenu mkaweze kuinua. Who am also an elder and a witness. Ambaye pia mimi ni mzee na pia shahidi. Of the suffering of Christ. Ya mateso ya Kristo Yesu. And also a partaker of the glory. Na mimi pia ni mshirika wa utukufu. That should be revealed. Ambao utafunuliwa. That's first Peter 5 chapter. Hiyo ni waraka kwanza wa Petero 5. Now read verse 2. Naenda msalimu. Feed the flock of God. Lisheni kondoo za Bwana. Which is among you. Ambazo ziko kati yenu. You know what that tells me? Najua hii inaniambia nini? That everybody in the flock. Ya kwamba kila mtu kila mtu yeyote ambaye hayuko kwa kundi la kondoo sio wa Mungu. So we need to read the word like it says. Kwa hiyo tunahitaji kusoma neno na vile vinavyosema. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Ni lisheni kondoo za Bwana zilizopo kati yenu. Pray and minister deliverance to the flock ah, not the flock. Waombe na kuleta ukombozi kwa kondoo. Everybody in the house is not of God. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh. Everybody that's in the house is not of God. Mtu yote asiye ndani ya nyumba sio kondoo wa Bwana. Jesus said. Yesu alisema. I have chosen the 12 of you and one of you is the devil. Yesu akasema nilichagua kumi na wawili kati yenu lakini mmoja wenu ni mtoto wa shetani. Any time a person and ministers that you forget that. You lead yourself over to be defeated. Ah wakati mwingi mwenyewe mchungaji mnapo mkisahau hiyo sehemu mtakuwa mnaruhusu kushindwa kwa maisha yenu. The devil sends people into. Lakini kama wachungaji jihadharini sana na mbuya katikati ya kondoo. Yes. The wolf will come in looking like shit. Unajua hawa mbwa mwitu wanakuja ndani ya kondoo wamevaa ngozi. He don't have to look like a sheep out there. He comes in here looking like a sheep. Yeah. 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 Wachungaji ambao mko hapa kumuwe makini sana katika ulimwengu wa roho kwa sababu mbwa mwitu zingine zinakuja ziko na uso kama ya kondoo. Every smile and face is not a friend and every frown is not an enemy. Kila uso yenye itakukaribisha kwa shangwe na na tabasamu kubwa kubwa sio yote inakaa ina Mungu ndani. Na pia sio kila mtu mwenye anakuja na sura imekunjana kwamba yeye ni mwashetani sio ni mwashetani hapana He will send men a beautiful wolf that looks like a beautiful sheep in order to make the shepherd fall Eh sasa nasema kuna Can you repeat No I was in the brand you in David Okay I said kwamba kuna ngo mwitu zingine zile nzuri nzuri sana zinakuja tu zinavaa ngozi ya kondoo sana zinakaa zinatembelea tu karibu na pasta ndio pasta azione zizi ungwe zinaonekana kama kondoo hapa hapa haleluya what is 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elaborated well. Okay. Then. Yeah, we have had now. Uh, it's okay. When we as the children of God understand that, <laughs> some sheep, some of the sheep are weak minded and let the wolf persuade them to do things that a wolf does. <laughs> Right. God is love. God drew us with love and kindness. A wolf is vicious. Oh, yes. His interest is to devour. So that he can eat the sheep. If you have those in the midst, I don't care how much they claim the bad is a wolf. Kondo, hata kama inakuja inatoa sauti kama ya kondo kabisa. Lakini a sheep will forgive you of your trespasses. Oh, yes. yes. Come there. Yes. A sheep will understand your fear. Ukiongea na kondo ingine, itakuelewa vizuri. Ukiongea na umbo mwite, nje hiko na ngosi ya kondo. But the wolf comes in to kill, steal, and destroy. Umbo mwitu inakuja inje kuwa, kuharibu, Taking the oversight thereof. Not by constraint. But willingly. Then it says feel to lucre, but not for money. But of a ready mind. Or a eagerly doing the will of God. Ama kwa Neither is being lords over God's heritage. Lakini si kwa jili tu ya urithi wa amara silimali za mungu. Because the sheep belongs to the chief shepherd, which is God. Sababu kondo wao ni wa mungu mku ambaye ni mungu mwenye. But being examples for the flock. Lakini tuwe mfano kwa kondo. I'm talking to the flock now. Azumuza kwa kondo sa azumuza. If you find a shepherd. Mukipata wakondoji, mukipata, mukipata mchungaji mwenye. Well, you know I don't know when you throw because I don't know what you be saying. <laughs> so you have to say, I'm saying, you look at me or something. So I don't yeah, think you. Did you finish? Yeah. I'm finished. <laughs> you should be glad. Lazima uwe na fra. When you have a shepherd that's willing to acknowledge their weakness. Unatakana uwe na furaha kama una mchungaji ambayo anatambua udhaifu wako. Because then you should pray for him or her. Yes. Ni kwamba kutambua mambo ya watu wao kondozi jisiko na shida na kuziombea. Stop trying to use your leaders as an escape go so that you can see and say I'm not the pastor. They ought to be. You ought to be too. Yeah. 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 Translation of our scared call. Mm, uh, put put the blame on. I would just say putting the blame on somebody else because that was the scapegoat did. He took the sins of the Israelite. So. And the scapegoat needed to know. You may put a little simple. You want an excuse for what you do, so you want to act like your leader should be perfect. Mm. Mm. Uh, Yaani kwa maneno mengine sikipo ni ile kondoo ambaye ilikuwa katikati ya kambi ya wana wa Israeli ilikuwa inapewa uh, inapakwa damu fulani ingine na chinjwa inatumiwa kwa madhabahu lakini hiyo kondoo nyingine nafukuzwa inaenda msituni hiyo ni leo scape cord alafu inaacha inachukua dhambi za watu kule nje it's a being an example for flock kwa maana sema kwamba tuwe mfano when you fail God, you acknowledge it. Repent and be sorry for it. And try to do better. 
unatumu makosa yako na naomba na unaambia Mungu unatakuwa sasa That's what your leader should do Hivyo ndivyo pia na viongozi wenu nataka nakufanya You should not force them to pretend just because of you Usifanye viongozi wako waanze kujifanya eti kwamba wana wana kila mmoja wetu yeye tumekaa hapa hivi hakuna mtu mzuri kila mtu ana kikiku ndani ya maisha yake we are supposed to be working daily to to lay aside that weight and sin that besets us kila siku lazima kila mmoja wetu angangane kuweka viti vidogo vidogo hivi kando ambavyo vinaweza kutuzinga kuona uwepo wa Mungu every day i should be saying lord help me change my attitude and my disposition kila wakati ni lazima kuambia Mungu kwamba Mungu nisaidie nisikawe na nia ambayo sio yako na hali sio kupendeza wewe. Paul says Paulo anasema katika wa Filipi I do not count myself as help. Oh, yes. right. Paulo akasema kwamba sijihesabu kana kwamba mimi tayari nimefika. Lakini kitu kimoja nakifanya. Father and forget what's behind me. Meaning. Yes, yesterday I may have made a mistake. I realized. But tomorrow. I can do better. 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 Hivyo ndivyo toba inafanyika. God doesn't tell you everything wrong with you you give up. Mungu hasemi ya kwamba kila kitu chenye unafanya ni kibaya. Mungu akikaa hivyo uta, utavunjika moyo. But when he lets you know something is wrong, get it right, correct it. Mungu akikutambulisha ama akikukumbusha jambo hilo umekosea, jaribu kusahihisha haraka na kwenda kwa Jesus. Some some of us have nasty attitudes. Ngine tuna tabia zingine za kinyume kidogo. So, I'm going to try to learn how to politely. Tell you. Ana soma sasa. Anajifunza kitu. Si lazima ulipoke kama kwa mkali. I didn't think so either, but he said use polite use polite. He said use polite language. Mhm. Tumia lugha ya ifasaha kidogo verse, verse uh, we're going to skip over and go to verse 6 tutasonga kidogo twende mlango wa 6 humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of god hiyo ni wa first peter 5 first peter 5 chapter verse 6 petero wa 5 tano mstari wa 6 inasema kwamba Yenyekeni chini ya mkono wa Mungu ulio hodari. That he may exalt you in due time. Ili naye akaweze kuwakweza kwa wakati wake. Sometimes we want to move before our season. Wakati mwingine tunataka kujiinua kabla ya wakati wetu. Oh yes. You young people want a video. Ninyi vijana mnataka video. If you got a video and you was all going to make a hundred thousand or a million each, you might not even come back to church again. They'll have you out there dancing other kind of dancing and singing and not serving God. You're not ready for something. You weka milioni kwa mfuko. Anapa, anaenda na anabadilisha yule kuimba ile ile ya kumchezea Mungu anacheza ile nyingine. Lakini mkingojea wakati wa Mungu atawainua kwa wakati wake. Amen. Yeye na mweke mizigo yenu yote kwake. Kwa maana Mungu anajishughulisha sana kwa ajili yetu. Ya kwamba muwe wa, wa sobe na majili yani yani hata mwisho mambo muwe timamu you you are not have a word for sober 
Mutu asome hiyo let somebody is why the bible I want you to hear what I'm telling you what is your word for somebody soba kutulia clear man clear man that's what clear man be vigilant meaning be 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 strong and willing and able to go out Yaani kuwa vigilant yaani muwe na nguvu na muwe watu ambao mtatoka nje because your adversary the devil kwa sababu mshtaki wenu ambaye ni shetani as a roaring lion kama simba angurumani walks about seeking whom he may devour anazunguka zunguka huku akimtafuta mtu ameze verse 9 Mstari wa 9. Whom you should resist steadfast in the faith. Ya kwamba mtampinga huyo. He said in the faith. Ukiwa umesimama imara kwa imani. That's all where you can withstand the devil. Naambiwa kwamba hiyo Biblia inatumia neno kunyenyekea lakini kunyenyekea na kuvumilia it's the same word. Biblia. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished mm. in your brothers that are in the world. Kwamba mkijua mateso yale yale yanawapata hata na ndugu zenu walioko kule duniani. Meaning you are in the body of Christ. Inamaanisha kwamba uko katika mwili wa Kristo. You have the strength to resist what he's doing in your life. Una uwezo wa kupinga ama kukataa mambo ambayo yanaishi yanafanya. The ones in the world are, don't have that strength. Na wale wa nje huko hawana uwezo wa kukataa yale shetani anawafanyia. But the God of all grace. Lakini Mungu wa neema yetu who has called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus ambaye alituita kuingia katika utukufu wake kupitia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo sikia hii ya mwisho after that ye have suffered a while na baada ya kuteseka kwa kitambo kidogo utapitia mateso fulani ya kuteseka kwa kitambo wale ambao wanamuita Mungu kuna mambo ambao wanapitia mateso fulani wanayopitia make you perfect Mateso haya atakuimarisha na kukueneza na kukutia nguvu na kukuweza kukuwezesha wewe. Inamaanisha kwa maneno mengine kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye atakutishia kwa maneno ambayo unajua na unayaamini. Amen. We gonna pray this. Okay. Everyone stand. We gonna pray this. We gonna pray this. You all gonna pray this together. Kumi na tatu hadi shina moja wili maombi au faham. Are we gonna repeat this? Are you gonna repeat after him? Tutarudi hii maombi. Tutarudi ni maangu ama tutarudi ni maaki. Ephesians first chapter verse 17. Verse one, go kwanza kumi na sasa. Start with something. I do it as a personal prayer. Mimi mstari uko na uko ni kwa naomba tu kama mambi yangu. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of glory. The Father of glory. Give unto me. Give unto me. We all didn't do that.
work in Christ, which you worked in Christ, when you raised him from the dead, when you raised him from the dead, and set him and saved him at your own right hand, and your own right hand in the heavenly places, in the heavenly places, above all. Above all, all. Principality, principality, and power, and power, and might, and might, and dominion, and dominion, and every name, and every name that is named, that is named, not only in this world, that not only in this world, but also, but also in that which is to come, and that which is to come, and put all things, and put all things under His feet, and under His feet, and gave Him. And gave him to be the head, to be the head over all things, of all things, to the church, to the church, which is his body, which is his body, the fullness, the fullness of him, of him that filleth, the fill, all in all, all in all. For this cause, for this cause, I bow my knees, I bow my knees unto the Father, unto the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom. Of whom the whole family, the whole family in heaven, in heaven and in earth and in earth is named. His name that He would grant me, that He will grant me according to the riches, according to the riches of His glory, of His glory to be strengthened, to be strengthened with might, with might by His Spirit, by His Spirit in my inner man, in my inner man that in my Christ. That Christ may dwell, may dwell, may dwell in, my heart, in my heart by faith, by by faith, faith that, I, that I, I be rooted, be rooted and, grounded, and grounded in love, in love may, be able, may be able to understand, to understand that, all saints, that all saints, what is the breadth, meaning how wide, what is the breath which means how wide and the length which is how long and the length which is how long and the depth which is how deep and the depth which is how deep and how height which is how high and to know the love of Christ which passes which pass not that I, that I might be filled, might be filled with, all, with all the fullness of God. The fullness of God. Now to him, now to him that is able, that is able to do, to do exceeding, exceeding abundantly, abundantly above, above all, all that I ask, that I ask or think, or think according. According to the power, to the power that, works that works in us, in us. unto him, unto him be glory, be glory in, the church, in the church, by Christ Jesus, by Christ Jesus throughout, Jesus. All ages, throughout all ages, world without end, world without end. Amen. Amen. Amen.